What's up everyone? Welcome to your very first Adobe After Effects tutorial. And in these next couple of tutorials, I'm going to be going over every single thing you ever wanted to know about Adobe After Effects. So if you're a beginner and you just opened up After Effects and you have no idea what all this stuff is or what you're even looking at, then this is a great place to start. And if you're an expert in After Effects, then I'm going to be going over some advanced uh, video editing graphics. So um, I hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we even get started, I wanted to tell you guys one thing. Make sure you're watching all of these tutorials in high definition. I'm going to put a link in my description box on the right hand side. And trust me, it makes a world of difference. So, aside from that, now let's get to the After Effects tutorial. Now, before we get started, I want to tell you guys that all of the work that you do when you're working with After Effects, you're going to be saving it with the A. E P extension that means After Effects project so anytime you see this extension right here that means that you can be working with it in After Effects anything without this extension uh, you're in the wrong program another thing I want to tell you guys just because it's going to come in handy is that whenever you use a video or a footage you don't actually and you import it you don't actually copy it again in this program what it does is um, After Effects uses that video from the same spot it is and doesn't copy it to a new space on your hard drive. And this is so that the project files can remain small, but whenever you export, that's when it creates a whole new file. So in case you're wondering why your uh, projects are smaller than even the video, then this is why. Now all of the... Um, uh, material that's going to come under this project panel is I'm going to be calling it footage. So let's go ahead and the first thing that you usually want to do is go up to file, import, file, and we want to input a, f a movie or something like that. Just for basics, I'm going to go ahead and input any movie. Uh, this is one of my, me and my friend in Myrtle Beach. I'm not going to be doing anything with it, I just wanted to show you guys how to import. So again, to import file, import file, find your movie, double click it, easy enough. So now that you have this video, it's going to appear under your project panel, just like any other video you import. And again, if you input more video, it's just going to all organize right here. Now, once you have your video open, you have a lot of different things that you can do with it. For beginners, if you double click on it, it's going to open in a new um, panel called the footage panel. Now this is pretty much just so you can um, get a better look of what you're working with. And it just gives you some more detail and uh, just stuff like that. It's really just much a lot like a player, like Windows Media Player or anything like that. But it's built in uh, After Effects. Now now that we know what the footage and project is another thing that we're going to be working a lot with is the tools panel right here now a lot of these tools the ones with a little triangle right here they have a drop down menu where you can um, pick a different variation of these tools so for this this rectangle tool it's going to allow you when we're working with compositions to select um, like how would I say like circles and triangles maybe but in anything with no triangle is just one tool so this selection tool this is a hand tool and this is a whole bunch of tools so we're gonna be going over the tools in depth later but for right now I just wanted to show you guys where it is and whenever I refer to our tools panel panel this is where it is and again the project panel is where all of our footage is stored and another thing I want to tell you guys about the project panel, whenever you start getting a lot of footage right here, you're going to want to organize it into folders. To make a new folder, go ahead and create this button. It says create new folder, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to do my new folder. And anytime you want to move something into your folder, go ahead and move it in. And anytime, one second. 
make sure you have this selected go ahead and drag it into your folder and then you can see it's ended in a little bit and that means it's in your folder and anytime you want to hide the contents just press this little triangle anytime you want to show them just uh, press it again so that's how you can organize footage so aside from that um, all of these panels right here we're gonna wanna sometimes learn how to rearrange them resize them or open new ones so to rearrange them just click go ahead and click this gray area right here and you can drag it to anywhere you want so go ahead and as you can see if I want my project panel over here just let go but I'm gonna want mine over here so go ahead and click project and drag it over to the left now now that we learn how to move around our panels anytime we want to resize a panel just go ahead and drag it and this is going to give you more information and notice that once you resize one of the panels the panels to either side of it get either smaller or bigger so I rearrange that play however you like it and um, the last thing I'm going to be going over this tutorial before we move on to actually the fun stuff is anytime I'm working with a panel and you don't see it say you don't want this footage one or you don't have it at all go to window and go over to all of these things right here and what these are are panels anytime there's a check mark next to them means that it's showing anytime there's not means it's not up there so go ahead and get all the ones you want see once we click that tool panel disappears and once we click it again it pops right back up so that's pretty much the basics of After Effects and the, um, how do you call it, the interface of it. So just make sure you find your way around. And those were the very basics. So anything we're going to be going over later, I'll show you how to do it. But once you got a good feel pretty much of After Effects, then you can move on to my next tutorial where we will be creating our very first composition. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something, study it. And once you're good with the interface, move on to my next tutorial. Thanks.